Hey guys, Jim from Import Image Racing, and as you know, we've been upping the power and performance on our VB chassis WRX, which leads us into our next series of mods, and that is to maintain the power on our VB WRX. Adding more boost comes with its own set of issues. The added crankcase pressure can easily overcome the factory PCV system. That's where a catch can like the Killer B comes in. This is a dual can design that shape helps separate the air and oil by causing a vortex inside the units. The additional volume allows space for the now separated vapor to condense back into a liquid that can be removed before entering your vehicle's intake track. The initial cost and the installation is lower and easier than some of the other brands on the market, but I'll expand into that later. For now, let's get this thing on the car. The first step in our installation is to start removing parts, including our serpentine belt shroud and our intercooler. Now we have some aftermarket parts here, so the tooling's not gonna be exactly the same if you have stock parts. In our application, we're gonna remove these two bolts for our shroud and then our eight 12 millimeter bolts for the intercooler and our band clamp, then we will remove the intercooler. Because this is a dual catch can setup, we have two spots that we're gonna be focusing on. One is gonna be at the front of the engine right here where this empty space is. And the second is gonna be where these two prongs are coming off of the firewall. We're gonna start at the front of the engine by taking a razor blade and removing some of this rubber guard. We've removed our rubber guard, which looks something like this, which is actually going to expose our hard plastic tube that's underneath. So we're gonna be cutting and removing this 90 degree elbow by making an incision up here and down here with a set of hose cutters. Now that we've cut our 90 degree elbow out, we're gonna install our first catch can onto the front of the engine. And basically we're just gonna pre-install our clamps and then we will install it onto the top and bottom portion of our hosing. With a flathead screwdriver, we're gonna tighten our two screw clamps and we can move on to our rear catch can. Next, we're gonna to need to remove this large diameter PCV hose that's located just to the left of the throttle body. There's gonna be two clamps, one at the top and one at the bottom. With a pair of pliers, we're going to be clamping these together, removing it, and then completely removing the hose. With the hose removed, we're gonna reveal our PCV valve located in the top of the block. With a 27 millimeter socket, we're gonna remove this valve. The factory PCV valve looks something like this. Now we're gonna reuse this on the second can, so definitely don't throw it away, but we are gonna replace it with this brass fitting in top of the block. Tighten our new brass barb with an 11 16th socket. On our second catch can, we're gonna install our factory PCV valve into this fitting. Now, Killer B recommends that you use Teflon tape on your factory PCV valve. Now, I would have liked to have seen something like this in the kit. Luckily, we're at a shop, so I have that kind of stuff laying around, but uh, you know, make sure you have some Teflon tape. Attach our second can to the two studs at the back of the firewall. In the kit, you will be provided two pieces of attaching hardware to secure our second can. Once the can is mounted, we'll have two hoses. At first, we're gonna be looking for the hose with the open rubber end, and we're gonna slide this open end over our brass barb that's installed into the top of the block. Then we're gonna secure it with our clamp. Secure the hose with a zip tie. Take the supplied silicone hose and install it onto the intake manifold. Then install our PCV valve into the other end of the hose and tighten the clamps. Finally, we can reinstall our intercooler and serpentine belt shroud.
We've run into a little issue. With our front catch can, our parent serpentine belt shroud no longer fits. Now, I'm sure Killer Bee did not design this to fit with all of the aftermarket shrouds, so no big deal. It looks like we're going to have to either go back to stock or find another solution. Not a huge thing, but something to keep in mind if you plan on buying this particular kit and have some aftermarket dress up. That completes the installation of our Killer Bee dual catch can setup for the VB chassis WRX. Here are my thoughts. I do like the kit. It installs extremely easy, and for the price point, I definitely think it's going to fit a lot of your budgets. Now, it does have some drawbacks, as you just saw. Our parent serpentine belt cover no longer fits. On top of that, because this is a dual catch can setup, I still have to maintain both our front and rear cans. And I'm going to have a hard time, I think, getting something underneath of this to catch any of the oil or residual vapor that comes out of here, which means I'm going to need to remove the clamp and the mounting on the back to partially remove the cans in order to properly drain them. We're going to try this can setup out for a handful of oil changes, but depending on how much blow by this motor actually creates on our power level, we may or may not stick with this solution. With that being said, for thousands more parts just like this, be sure to hit up importimageracing.com for all of the best deals on the web and in the world, and we'll catch you on the next one.